Pretty mate. You may or may not be aware, I don't know, but Valve very recently released to the first batch of customers the probably very soon to be scalped muchness Steam Deck. And with that, I was quite surprised to see that they'd released the card files alongside it so that the community could begin 3D printing their own accessories for the Steam Deck using these card files so they could form this sort of creative community of parts and whatnot. So after opening up the CAD file, I was a little disappointed in what I saw, but it's not the end of the world. There's some things you can do to sort of make the best of what Valve have issued. Uh, the, you know, there'll be some people, oh, well, it's quite obvious what they've done. It's quite easy to get around it, and well, of course they've done that. Well, whatever, mate, it's just not It's just not the best solution for most people in their circumstances. But either way, I've opened up the step file, I've 3D printed it. Uh, mine didn't turn out the best. I'm not the best at 3D printing, but uh, the joysticks need support. <laughs> that is now apparent. Uh, the surface texture is not the best on mine, but that's not a representation of a card file. That's just my settings. But you do need a big 3D printer because this is 298 mil roughly from point to point, side to side. And if you're going to 3D print this and you've got a smaller build volume, you need to split the part. And that's not something everyone can do. Now, I did try printing the, the, the part at 50% size, but then uh, using supports, it just ended up an absolute mess. Uh, even the surface, you can see the quality of the surface there is just abysmal. So I've just got much to learn with 3D printing, but either way. Hopping on over to the GitLab where Valve have deposited the parts. Now, they have said in here, I don't know if this is in their defense, but this is the external shell or surface topology of the Steam Deck and they've released a step file and an STL file. Now the STL file can be dropped into any slicer. The slicers have limited ability when it comes to splitting stuff and object manipulation. But if you take the step file and open it up into any CAD program, whether it be Inventor, Fusion 360 or SolidWorks or Blender or Max or whatever, it won't matter what you open this up in, mate. Unfortunately, the way Valve have exported the step file from the native CAD program, like I don't, like calling this a CAD file. It's not a CAD file. This is just, it's a translated file. It comes in as one complete base solid and there's not really much you can do with this. I would have preferred uh, that they'd exported this as separate bodies, which wouldn't have been difficult and it wouldn't have exposed any intellectual property. I would have preferred the grippers, the joysticks, the track pads, the buttons to just have been separate solids so people could have printed those separately and then glued them on, you know, if they've got a smaller 3D printer. But unfortunately, it's all it's all one piece. Now, you can split this if you want, but you need that's when you need 3D CAD skills in order to do that. And depending on the 3D CAD tool you've got, is, it will be how difficult that will be. And it's just the way they've, they've exported this. It's like they've made it intentionally difficult. Like the gripper sides here, that's all one face there. These edges here, they're not actual edges. They're just sort of pseudo edges where a, a kind of fillet ends. So these aren't even selectable edges that you can use to drop a plane down to split where those are. If you turn off the main solid, you'll see that it also imports a bunch of wire files. Now these are basically just sketch lines that represent where the the grippers sort of start and end. And that can be used by people who are planning on designing accessories to know where the start of their accessories should be. Sure, and they had the same for the, the screen. So there's like basically a rectangular sketch outline for the screen. I just don't understand why they weren't exported as solids or surfaces rather than just 3D lines. I'm not massively familiar with that world. I'm sure whoever plans on making accessories, maybe that's enough for them. I don't know. But just being, just seeing a couple of sketch lines there, just hollow, empty sketch lines, I'm just thinking to myself, like if I was designing an accessory, there's not a lot I can do with that. I still have to have the contour here from the original Steam Deck, which means I still have to have the original base, which means importing or copying the object and, you know, just without that the other bits useless so I, I don't know I, I don't know i don't know what they've done with it but hopping on over to fusion 360 if you want to use fusion 360 to do this yourself and split this into a number of objects to be able to 3d print it in a smaller 3d printer i'll link fusion 360 in the description you can sign up for free as a hobbyist once you signed up and you've got fusion 360 installed you can go to open just open from my computer go to your step file that you've downloaded 
and it should just open up straight away. It shouldn't ask you any questions. And it'll come in the same way as it's just done. It'll come in as one complete solid body. There you go, there's body one. Now, fortunately, this comes in pretty symmetrical. So all you need to do to split it is just go to split body uh, on the mo on just underneath the modify command. Pick the body to split. So expand bodies, pick body one. And then for splitting tool, click select and then pick that face there. So that's the center line running through the middle. And then just click OK. Uh, repeat it, just go back to split body, pick body one, body two, and then go to the splitting tool and then pick that f sort of scent line, sort of like a guillotine running through the middle of it, and then click OK, and you've now got body one, two, three, four, essentially quadrants. So you can export those as separate STL files and 3D print them separately. And once they're 3D printed separately, you can then glue them together. That's pretty much making the best of what Valve have given you. If you don't want to 3D print it through this that sort of gap line there running through a feature you, you can move a plane set like offset and split it somewhere else that's up to you uh i don't know that's on you but that's one way of doing it i don't know i've done this in vred as well i've imported the step file into vred and looked if it imports any differently it doesn't it kind of comes in the exact same way but that's the step file that's how it imports that's one way of getting it 3D printed is, I don't know if you've got a smaller 3D printer, whether Valve have intentionally, they have intentionally done this, it just would have been nice if they'd threw everyone a bit of a bone and just split it a bit more, do you know what I mean? The 3D model itself is actually pretty good quality, if you look at the zebra analysis on the actual CAD file and look at the surface contours, it's really smooth, it, all the lines flow across all the faces so there's no disc joints like discontinuation in the surfaces. That's a really good quality face running all the way through there. But my 3D print is not necessarily reflective of that. <laughs> it didn't really come out that way on my 3D model, uh, my 3D print. Uh, but nevertheless, there you go. That's what to expect if you are planning on 3D printing it. It is one complete solid. You will need to split this if you've got a build volume smaller than 300 mil. Uh, but that's how you can split it up. Links in the description if you want to sign up for Fusion 360. Those are my referral links. If you do end up buying Fusion 360, I'll get a cup of kickback from Autodesk at no cost to you. Help support my channel. Links to the card files will also be in the description. My name is Neil Cross. This has been Tech3D. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.